In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're very welcome to the Brendan Option. I'm Father Brendan Kilcoyne. If you like this, would you hit the subscribe button? It's free, it won't cost you a thing, but it helps me. Uh, would you maybe hit the like button? Uh, would you send a constructive comment? Uh, positive or negative? Constructive comment. Okay. And for whatever else you do, even if you hate my work, will you keep me in the prayers? Actually, especially if you hate the work, would you keep me in the prayers? Thanks a million. Okay. What what kind of flavour of ice cream do you like? Now I must remember. You know, I'm 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 old enough to remember because my da- my dad later and then my my and my mum uh, later my mum he died young. They had a shop, a village shop, and they used to sell ice cream. You know, ice cream, and it used to be sold in Ireland in those days. It came in blocks, and you would cut the blocks with a big knife. Uh, it was about that much for a for a threepenny, and about that much for a sixpenny. Okay, and then the wafers came in a separate tin box. You put a wafer each side and you handed it out. There weren't many flavours. There was, what was there? There, there? there was a lovely Neapolitan, which were three, which I really liked. It was three flavours. Then there was a lovely banana. There was a really nice ripple. Okay. And then there was just plain vanilla. And you know, sometimes you're in the mood for a vanilla. Yes, yeah, sometimes you're in the mood. But the thing about vanilla is that it you you need something with it, don't you? Like chocolate sauce or something like that. And then it's perfect because it doesn't interfere in whatever else you add. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The Synod. I I want to be clear, I'm not saying this out of disrespect to the Holy Father, okay? The Holy Father is a great man. He's not God. He's not perfect. He makes mistakes. But, you know, he's an extremely talented man. And he has he has the church doing this synodal thing. And synodality has become a phrase. It, it, nobody had really ever heard of that phrase before. They'd heard of synod. And maybe synodal. But anyway, now synodality. And not in its sort of broad usage. Um... But it has become a free, it has entered the Catholic language, synodality. Right? And this is something we're all supposed to be at. And lately it reached a crescendo in Rome. And a lot of people were surprised that the results were so bland, that they were so um, magnolia, that they were so, dare I say, vanilla? There was a little flavour. Vanilla is not without flavour, hmm? especially if it's the real thing. There was flavour, but it was subtle, 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 subtle. Yeah. It was, surpri- for most tastes, it was surprisingly bland. Now, I'm going to say a few things here. Number one, I think we've got to a point in the church where we're so influenced by modern culture and specifically modern corporate culture that we deal in vanilla I think we deal in magnolia I think we like bland so I would think of of the synodal process as kind of like ecclesiological lift music okay you know the tinkle 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 you know the sort of yeah yeah you know the stuff yeah yeah ecclesiological lift music And it's hardly surprising in that context that the outcome is bland. There are teachings that cannot be messed with. Now, you can can keep the whole thing going by murmuring that something might be done, by whispering, by insinuating, by implying, by inferring, whatever you want to do, okay? But when the rubber hits the road, when the diesel begins to be sucked, right? When you hit up against core deposit of faith teachings, You're stuck. You're stuck. Yeah? And we got stuck. And I'm not sure that we were ever meant not to get stuck or that it was ever envisioned we wouldn't get stuck. It was more about the journey than about the arrival. Does that make any sense? So it's process over content even. It's process over product. It's process. Yeah? It's process. So it occurs to me that 
synodality, and I'm not totally downing it because we do need to be talking to each other. Synodality is a sort of Western world, bourgeois, middle class idea of how church can be done where we're all not even talking. We're certainly not fighting. Nobody's rolling in drunk and breaking the furniture. And you certainly don't have two bishops in a very medieval style beating each other senseless in the synodal hall, okay, as they sit on their hotel chairs, right, in the grand sala. Yeah. No, 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 nothing like that. It's all, it's all murmured. It's all very well-bred. It's all very, all very bourgeois. Yeah. God forbid that it would be earthy, uh, medieval, uh, churchy, uh, redolent of passion and faith and treachery and 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 all the powerful, bright and dark things that come up in religion. No, it's it's lift music. Lift music is meant to get you from one floor to the next. It's not meant to give you a lengthy classical experience. Okay, we're not talking Beethoven here, right? Which is just as well because we ain't getting Beethoven here. Yeah. And I, th- I think the Holy Father is giving us something to do to keep us out of mischief. Um, I think it's the equivalent of being told to go out and play. Do you remember when kids were told to do that? Magnificent thing. Chesterton talks about it. What a magnificent thing to tell a child to do. Tommy, go out and play. You're annoying me. Okay. I feel we're being told to go out and play. Now, that, that, is that bad? No, it's a very interesting thing to do. Well, What's slightly irritating is that then we're being micromanaged in the playground. Yeah, so we can't have any sharp corners or rough points. We can't graze our little kneesy poos. We can't hurt ourselves on the corners. We can't pick up a bit of glass or and everything has to have nice uh, bright colours, but not too bright. We don't want to frighten the horses. OK, I say the Holy Father is a genius because it's no joke to keep 1.4 billion people out playing. That is quite an achievement. Okay. Now, I love him to bits. I like him humanly. Okay, I wouldn't like to stand on his toes. I don't know if I'd like to be working with him uh, for him at close quarters. But I like him. And he's the Pope, whether I like him or not. He is the Pope. Yeah? But I'm just saying, since after all, Yeah, we are sons and daughters and not servants in the house anymore, in Jesus Christ. Okay, I am saying, you know, um, that it seems to me that there was nothing much at stake in this from the beginning. That was what I felt and that's how it's turned out. And I am not the sharpest tool in the box. If I could see that, uh, God alone knows the torture that some of the finer minds have gone through watching all the time and money that has been spent on this. But sure, if it keeps us out of trouble, maybe it's worth it. I mean, I suppose people spend a fortune on childcare, on a creche, on whatever, and this is a kind of a creche. Uh, it's, you know, little kids go to creche and we go to synodality. Um, look, fine. It, if nothing else, it has got us talking insincerely. Yeah, I, I think that's good. You know, I mean, it'd be nicer if we were sincere, but you can't have everything. OK, so at least at least we're, you know, chatting to each other as if we cared what each, what, what, what each other thinks, which we don't. OK, but at least we're pretending. We're pretending. It's, yeah, it's something. It's an effort. OK, and we're socialising and we're learning some basic manners and all the rest of it. OK, as to the rest, I can't help noticing that when the Holy Father, as is his right, yeah, as is his right, when the Holy Father wants to do something, he doesn't waste much time on synodality. I just noticed that. It just occurs to me. Yeah? So... How important is this, really? Well, it's keeping us from grazing our knees and torturing the cat. That's something. Yeah. Uh, My brothers and sisters, you have to have a bit of humour about these things. Or you'd go slightly mad. Um, That may happen to me anyway in the end. There's still time. Uh, In the meantime, we need to get on with things. 
and uh, perhaps not let this get to us too much. Yeah? God bless you all. Um, and please, stay rough, stay edgy, stay rude, stay authentic. Uh, be the sort of kid who's sent home before playtime. Uh, that's that's going to make for a church in which the prophets can be heard. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen.